people to the Lord. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than on ninety and nine just people which need no repentance. Come on, amen. Over one. The angels in heaven rejoice, brother Bill. Amen. They would rejoice more, Sister Reese, than us having a, a church full of saved people yeah. that's worshiping the Lord. Yeah. yeah. They rejoice more if if that one drunk one comes through that door yeah. Come on. and hits his altar. It's for more rejoicing in heaven going on than it is if we worship here all night. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because that one sinner. It leaves a ninety in there. Yeah. And go after that one. Mm -hmm. I think it's time that we start having compassion for them lost souls. Come on. There's lost souls out there running sleep and dying and going to hell. And don't know no better. Yeah. Been taught everything in the world. And don't know no better. Really? Honey, I mean, there's people out there that's hurting. And have no hope, Sister Reese. Without Jesus, there is no hope. They don't have no hope. And we have to hope. Mm -hmm. And we need to share it with yeah. them. Come on. And get them to come in. Amen. Mm -hmm. Either one woman having a ten pieces of silver, if she loses one piece, does not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she finds it. And when she had found it, she calls her friends and her, her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I have lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. Amen. And she was seeking for him. We need to be searching for him, brother. Yeah. Who's the house? Have y'all ever lost it, huh? Amen. Mm -hmm. Most of the time it's when you put it up, we remember. I'm going to put it over here because this the no where it's at. The first thing you know is lost. Mm -hmm. Are you sticking in your Bible? A lot of people lost a lot of stuff because they're taking their Bible and they're opening it again. Come on. Amen. 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 That's Praise the Lord. <laughs> we need to, but that, that woman was sweet to her yeah. until she found it. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. Yeah. We need to keep seeking until we find where God we need to find where God wants us first mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't just like this stuff here I know I know the Lord delivered me through this and I don't really know what God's got in plan but whatever it is first sleep I'm willing mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I'm willing whatever he wants me to do so to reach I'm going to step out I'm going to do it if he's helping me run these pews I need better get out of the way because I'm coming <laughs> I'm coming, amen. Whatever he wants me to do, it's what I'm going to do, Sister Bonnie. Honey, it's time we quit playing church and start obeying God's word. Whatever he wants. Because if he tells you to do something, it's for a reason. Amen. It's for a reason. He didn't have Brother Sleeves up there and, and telling them both about the Lord and, and it wasn't him doing it. It was the Lord doing it for no reason. Yeah, really? Yeah. That seed got planted. Amen. That seed got planted. Amen. And somebody else will come along and they'll water it. Then God will give the increase. Amen. Yeah. That, that, that word that he gave to them folks up there, just a little simple word. Just so they wasn't me. It was God. Yeah. God planted. God planted. Let them realize that Brother Sleeve knows that it ain't Brother Sleeve doing it no more. Amen. Amen. Let them realize. Amen. And when brother, brother, like Brother Billy, when he gets behind his pulpit, I didn't need Brother Billy no more. No. When that anointing starts falling upon him, then it's the word of God coming forth out of his servant. Amen. Amen. And God has, because we don't get these, I don't get these messages. I know Brother Billy don't. We don't get these messages off the internet. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. You can get them that way. But I ask the Lord, I get that on my knees and I said, God, whatever you want me to preach. And the most of the time, I don't want to preach what he wants me to preach, especially. Yeah. I didn't really want to go this way tonight. I, I had something else on my mind. But God said, this is what he wanted. And I don't know why. Maybe for me, maybe for somebody out, yeah. out there on a, a radio, I don't know what for. But I know by the shout of God, it's going to do his work. Yeah. Because he said his word won't return void. Amen. My word might return void. To the oh. But if God is, if God's word will not return void, it'll do. It'll accomplish what it's sent out to do. It'll do the work that it's sent out to do. Somebody needs to hear God's word. Amen. Amen. Somebody, 
Maybe there's somebody out there that, that, that doesn't know, know the Lord. And, and they're searching for that hope. Amen. They're looking for somebody to tell them that there is hope. Yeah, come on. There's people out there that don't even realize there's hope, Brother Billy. Yeah. I didn't know there was hope. I've heard about the Lord all my life, but I really didn't know Him. Amen. Even I even went to church for a while and didn't even thought I was saved. Yeah. Because some preacher told me I was. Yeah. Come on. But it wasn't, Sister Richie. When I got it, I know I got it. Amen. Come on. When you, if you get it, you know you get it. Amen. There ain't no doubt about it. Amen. Ain't nobody got to come around and say you got something. Yeah. Something to turn you around. Something to change your life. But when you get it, you know you got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know you got it. Yeah. And there will be a change mm -hmm. in your life. If you come to an altar and you pray and there ain't been no change, you didn't get it. Mm -hmm. You didn't get it. Because there's a change that takes place mm -hmm. in your life. If you really get it. If you really get what God has got. If you really if, if you really can see her and cry out to you and really repent, there's a change that takes place. Mm -hmm. in your life. It better be. Because mm -hmm. there ain't no change, you didn't get it. Second Chronicles seven fourteen said, "If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and yeah. pray yeah. and seek my face yeah. and turn mm -hmm. from the wicked ways, mm -hmm. yeah. then I will hear from heaven and heal their land." Mm -hmm. But we got to do some turning. There's got to be a change. You can't you can't come to the altar tonight and hit the bar tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. There ain't no change. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a change in your life. There's got to be a change that takes place, amen. That's where your hope's at. Mm -hmm. That's where our hope's at. Our hope's in Jesus, amen. But she swept the house and she found it, amen. Mm -hmm. And the other person, and he said, and he said, a certain man had two sons. And the youngest of them said to his father, Father, give me the portions of my goods that fall to me. And he divided unto them, his living. And not many days after, the young son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And that wasted his substance was righteous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land. And he began to be in want. Now this young man didn't want for nothing. As long as he was his father's house. Amen. But he made a decision, like Brother Billy talked about Sunday here. Made a decision to leave the father's house. Yeah. Because he got his eyes, Brother Sleeves, mm -hmm. on something else out there. Mm -hmm. See, that's what happened to Adam and Eve. Yeah. Yeah. She got her eyes yeah. on that tree. Amen. She got her eyes on that fruit. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what happened to them. A lot of times we get our eyes on things we don't need to have our eyes upon. Amen. We need to keep our eyes on Jesus. As long as we keep our eyes on Jesus, we'll make it. Sister Bonnie, as long as we keep our eyes on Jesus, I don't care what kind of storm comes, we can walk on water. Come on. Peter did. As long as he kept his eyes on Jesus. Yeah. But when he took his eyes off Jesus and yeah. looking at the storm, yeah. that's what he began to see. But Jesus was right there, Brother Billy. Well, even though he began to see and he took his eyes off him, he was still right there. All he had to do was cry, Lord, save me. And he reached down and got him. Amen. Pulled him down. And I believe he walked back to that boat. Yeah. Bible said, I got back her. Yes, yeah. you got way. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's a walk back her. Jesus carried him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He's a way been good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. But we got to keep our eyes on Jesus. See, this young man got his eyes on the world. Yeah. He got his eyes on what he had, even in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many church people get their eyes on what they got. Get their eyes off Jesus. And it, and it don't take long for a you know that Paul come out of the church, brother. Yeah. Because they got their eyes. On things of this world. Mm -hmm. He caught up on things on maybe a boat or something. Get fishing or whatever, golf or whatever, get their eyes on that stuff. And the first thing you know, they're missing this Sunday, that Sunday, this Sunday. First thing you know, they're not coming at all. Yeah. Because they got their eyes on something else. Yeah. We need to get our eyes on Jesus and keep them on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wasn't in want for nothing as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he went to join himself to a citizen of the country. And he sent him into the field to feed the swine. And he went up and had filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. So there he was. 
Hadn't wanted for nothing. And all of a sudden,